Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordan and welcome to my March TBR. I am so excited to get into March because as always, I've got a bunch of fun videos planned. There are readathons happening. There's fun life stuff happening. Hopefully the weather's gonna get better. It should just be a great month overall. So let's get into what I am planning on reading. The first thing I will be tackling in March is my book of the month reading blog. This is a series I do on my channel because I am a book of the month member. This helps me stay on top of the books that I've been picking. I am a little bit behind on book of the month because I still have not read my January pick, which is What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. This is a mystery thriller about, I believe, some girls who were in the woods and something happened with like a serial killer or something and they testified something that put a guy away, but apparently they were lying about something and this is about it all coming to light. I have seen good reviews for this book so far, so definitely interested to get to it. And then in February, I ended up picking two books. The first is also the mystery thriller pick, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. Don't know a ton about this plot other than I believe it's about an author who gets invited to attend this writer's retreat and I'm guessing things start happening like people start turning up dead or they find out they're in danger or something like that. I've seen not so great reviews about this one so far but I'm still excited to give it a chance and determine for myself whether I like it. And then I also added on this book called The Shards by Brett Easton Ellis. I know nothing about this book. <laughs> I don't remember where I saw this talked about. I know that I saw a really good review for it somewhere, but I can't remember who it was or where it was. And when I got this in my box, this thing is huge. I am intimidated by it. It looks like it's almost 600 pages long. And being that I know nothing about the actual plot, I have no idea if I'm going to enjoy this book, but I will find out, I will read it. I will let you know in case you were also thinking about picking up this book in the future. I think it's also a mystery thriller, but who knows. Then in March, I also plan to participate in the Backlist Readathon, which is being hosted by Jackie over at her channel, Jacqueline, as well as I think three other co-hosts. And this is happening from March 12th to 18th. I haven't looked too much into the actual prompts of the readathon. All I know is that I do have several backlist books on my TBR that I want to knock out. So I'm definitely going to prioritize those. And if they end up fitting with the prompts, perfect. But if not, then I am still reading backlist books. So I have four that I would like to get to. The first is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. In January, I read Love on the Brain by this author and really enjoyed it. So hoping that the case is the same here. This is a contemporary romance book about two scientists. And I really enjoyed the STEM talk in the other book that I read. So again, hoping that that is the case here as well. Then I want to get to This Is Where It Ends by Marie Kay Nykamp. I don't know much about this book because I have not heard of it before. I was gifted this for my birthday for my brother, which I appreciate. Uh, but it seems like this is going to be a very hard hitting contemporary book about a school shooting. Then the next book that I wanna to get to is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. I've heard good things about this one. I believe it's science fiction and it's this author's most renowned book so far. It looks like it won the Nobel Prize in literature, which is a good sign, but it's also really short, which will be perfect for a readathon and also will nicely offset the last book that I wanna read that week, which is The Enigma of Room 622 by Joel Dicker. This is a mystery book, I believe about this hotel that has this room 622 where something happened and it's never been solved like a murder mystery or something. This author is from Switzerland, I'm pretty sure. And so this is a translated book that has been translated to English. So that will be cool to read. And honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I have a pretty diverse range of genres that I will be reading during that readathon, which will be really fun. The other readathon that I wanna participate in in March is the Screaming Color Readathon, which is newly announced by Gabby over at Gabby Reads. This is a either 24 or 48 hour readathon that she's doing through her Patreon. And for each round of the readathon, she's going to be picking a different color to read books that have the color on the title. No, we're going to be reading books that have that color on the cover, which I think is a super fun idea. Because it's such a short readathon, I only have one book planned. This round's color is green, so I will be reading The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. This is definitely more of like a teal color, but the leaves on the cover are green, so it counts. And I for sure will be reading this book over this weekend because this is the book club pick for my friend Jessie over at Reading with Jess, her monthly book club called Sleep When I'm Dead. This is her monthly pick for March and I am actually her co-host for this month. So I will be joining her for the live show on Tuesday, March 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern. So because the Screaming Color Readathon is the weekend before that live show, I do wanna save this book until then. So it's fresh in my mind for the discussion, but I have to finish it then so that I can actually talk about this book on that live show. So definitely set your reminder for that. Subscribe to Jesse if you're not already so that you can join that live show discussion. And if you haven't gotten to reading The Villa yet, this is the perfect month to do it. And then my plans for the rest of March 
in between all of those readathons and things is I want to do a video centered around a March Madness book bracket that I'm putting together for all of the 2023 releases that I have read so far this year, which means I have to read some more 2023 releases. I've got a long list of them, but a few that I for sure will make time for are, first of all, The House in the Pines by Anna Reyes. This is a mystery thriller. Don't know anything about it. It's a Reese's Book Club pick, so it was on my radar originally because of that, and I've seen some of my friends reading this and giving it pretty good reviews, so I'm excited to give it a try. And then I also for sure will be reading The Last Word by Taylor Adams. This is the author of No Exit, which is a thriller that almost everybody loves. I really loved it. I also enjoyed this author's most recent release called Hairpin Bridge. A lot of people hated that one, but I didn't think it was that bad. But I'm so excited that the publisher did send me an early copy of The Last Word, which is coming out on April 23rd. This is a thriller about an author who goes after a reviewer who left a bad review on the author's book and does crazy things. So I think it sounds so good. I'm so excited to read it and hopefully have good luck with it. And hopefully everyone else does as well, just like No Exit. I was also sent this book, The Girl in the Zoo by Jennifer Lauer by the publisher. This is a sci-fi book about a future where artificial intelligence has taken over and a human is captured and caged in like a zoo. And it sounds cool. I need to read more sci-fi, so this will be a priority. And I'm really thankful that the publisher did send it to me. They also sent this really cute package with like a bookmark that the author herself made and some other goodies. So I can't wait to read this book and hope that I love it. And then the last 2023 release that I have physically but haven't read yet is Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This is a contemporary romance. It's the third in a series where it follows three different brothers and their romances. It also has to do with this inheritance that they're trying to earn from their grandfather who is the creator and founder of this amusement park called Dreamland, which is essentially Disney World. I really love that aspect of the story and I'm really hoping that this third book's romance connects with me the most out of the entire series. This is quite a chunky book, so hope that I love it and <laughs> this doesn't feel like a big waste of time. Also almost 600 pages. So we are getting to the big books in March but I'm excited to read this book and round out the series that I've been reading this year. And then I do also have some like NetGalley books and audiobooks that I will throw in as well, but you'll have to wait for that video to find out what else I'm reading and what I think of them and how they work into the March Madness bracket. So I think that is all that I have planned for March. Please let me know if you have read any of the books that I've mentioned or if you also have them on your TBR. Fingers crossed we all enjoy them, but other than that I don't think I have anything else. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.